Hello there everyone, I'm your German snob, and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Black Mesa. Alright, so for another episode, I already said that. We are supposed to go in there and something tells me that this won't end very well, but it sure is worth a try. Yeah, I expected this to happen. So we only have very limited time in here. So it's in our best interest to get through here as fast as possible. Go away! Man. No, really. Just... Okay, so that's not what I meant when I said as fast as possible. But you probably already knew that. Yeah. That was... Wow. I have no idea how to justify that, so I won't even try. But it was, by all means, terrible. Now let's do it with a bit more success. No, not like that. More like... That, yeah. Indeed. Maybe saving here was not that good of an idea, but... What, you're still alive? Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding. Okay, I just barely made it here, because, as you may have noticed, I'm not particularly good at this game. But maybe I can make it through. It is worth a try, isn't it? Nope, nothing here, and... Mm, yeah, so we have to go there. Of course! So, we got out of there. Anything dangerous here? Oh, it may be a bad question. There is always something dangerous here. The only question is where exactly. Alright, something up here. It is worth looking, but... Nah, no, not. So down we go. Alrighty. So let's better arm ourselves with the shotgun. I think we're a bit safer using it. So for some reason I just fired a shot even though I didn't click my mouse. Which would be like, you know, the regular way to fire a shot. No, to fire a shot. So I have no idea how that happened. Vortigaunt alert. Oh no. So we meet those guys again. And we get hit by them, even though we totally could have avoided that if we tried a little bit harder. But you know, it's not like playing this game competently is something I ever did and probably will ever do. Well, you know, I guess that's the thing if you play a game blind. Even though, really, I don't want to look for excuses here, it's just... Oh, I don't know. There was another... <sighs> there was another... First aid kit in there, yeah. And two loading screens. Uh, those are always lovely, aren't they? Okay, so let's go on. Not waste any more time, probably get... What? Oh, what? No, no, what? Okay, uh, I would just assume that one of them spawned right behind me. So, um, let's do this properly now. You know what, I probably shouldn't be afraid to use the, sh the shotgun, no, the crossbow. Hey there. Yeah, you are dead. What? No, you are not. But I totally shot at you. Why didn't I hit him? Well, I hit him, so that's that. God, that was stupid, but, you know, I guess I can assume that I was doing something wrong, but I have no idea what. Because, you know, I know that it's actually terrible to blame your own shortcomings on the game, which is something sometimes people really like to do, which I find really annoying. But you know, this is not about me um, telling you about my complaints about less players, because 
Let's be honest here, I'm not really... Really, no, I'm not nearly good enough at doing this to be justified in doing so. Yep. The one and only. Alright. What was that? I don't know, but it killed you. Heh. Yeah. Alright, so whatever it was, it's probably pretty dangerous. And we want to avoid it. Yeah, there's that weird shadow guy there. Okay, weird shadow guy. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> what the? No, no, really. What the? Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, so I've cornered you. Have I? What is this? Metal Gear Solid? Well, whatever that guy was. He's dead now. But he almost managed to kill me. And... Okay. Okay, that was stupid. So, there are more of them. Oh, joy. But there's not many places for them to avoid me. Seeing how this room, even though its layout isn't exactly beneficial to it, is still not that big. And there's still not that many places to hide. So I think we can do this. If we stay here and look out for ourselves, this whole thing is entirely doable. So, the most important part is not getting careless and position ourselves as, oh right, another one dead. And the next one should probably be the last one, or at least the last one who could be an actual danger to us. So, let's see how we can deal with that little punk there. Oh, looks like he's hiding up there. Okay, maybe we should take that risk. Or maybe not, you know. So that guy can totally see when we are reloading. Shouldn't surprise me really, but... Yeah, still a problem, isn't it? So can we corner him there? Or... Are we doing anything wrong? I really wouldn't be able to say... Yeah, there he... Okay. He, he was just lucky. He was just lucky that he got me. But I don't think that this would be a very good point to cut something out. I mean, I'm not sure what you think about it, but... Really, I don't feel like I'm... Well, you know, um, like it's really worth cutting anything out, seeing how I'm not even sure if I'm... Die. Okay, now here we should have the upper hand, shouldn't we? And I don't think we have to hit him that many more times until he's dead. So there is not much need to worry. But still, I wish this would go a little bit faster. I mean, I kind of feel like I'm wasting your time here. And you know what, in my opinion that's one of the worst things a Let's Player can do. Waste his viewers' time. That's the reason why I edit my videos. Because, as a wise man once said, never be afraid to edit, and better edit too much than not enough. And I totally agree with that, because if you decide to keep in your own mistakes... Okay, what did that do? I don't know. 
but I will just assume that it wasn't a mistake to do so. So yeah, if you're afraid to edit anything out of a video just because... Well, you know, I sometimes feel like many Let's Players just don't want to cut out any of their commentary. Which I can't really quite respect seeing how... Well, you know, in my opinion, there are two reasons to watch a Let's Play. The first one is because you're interested in the game being played. And let's take a closer look at those guys. They look like something out of Metal Gear Solid. I already mentioned that, I think. Uh, the first one would be because you're interested in the game that is being played. And the second one is because you like the person playing the game. Now, as you may have... Which direction? I'm not sure. Now, as you may have noticed, or may have, maybe maybe not noticed, but may have assumed, yes, I am the kind of person who watches a Let's Play usually for the game being played. So, therefore, it is in my interest for... Oh, hey, health. It is in my interest to concentrate on... What? That was part of the game, was it? Oh, come on. Yeah, the military managed to kill one single scientist. Well done, guys. Okay, that part may as well have been a cutscene. But still. So, we are unarmed again. And what just happened? We just kinda died. Without any discernible reason. But it's pretty obvious what we are supposed to do. Right? Right. So this whole thing is a jumping puzzle. There's just... You know, that's, that's just really obvious. So we are very much obviously supposed to get up here. And then... We are going to die anyway because we get stuck, of course! Once again... Well, at least now I know what I'm supposed to do. And all that because those two soldiers didn't want to... You know, like, interrogate me. Really... I'm pretty sure that these are not the brightest... Like, examples of the army. Yeah, we are supposed to get over there, aren't we? Yep, we are. Or can we get down here without hurting ourselves? Well, not, not entirely without hurting ourselves, but without hurting ourselves so much that it would kill us. So now we can get up here. And now that we are up here, can we get... ...in here? No. Okay. Okay, that's that's good to know. So we are going to try it a little bit differently. I think. Okay, no, the whole thing is pretty straightforward actually. We get over here. And from here we go there and from there we can use that ladder and then we can get further up. Alright. Not that bad. Not that bad at all. And here I'm pretty sure we can open one of those doors, or if not open it, then at least enter that room. In here we find... Our trusty crowbar. Great.
And then the floor opens up, I guess. No, really. So we are supposed to go down. Huh? Yeah, certainly looks like it. Okay. <sighs> Somehow I assume it's not going to be... What? No. We are not supposed to do exactly that, but to do it a little bit differently. Right, right. So what did I do wrong? Okay. Okay, oh, so apparently it wasn't all that much that I was doing wrong. Wow, will you look at that? Well, the scenery certainly is pretty nice. That one looks very much like something that you would find in Half-Life 2. Though I am not sure how much it... Huh. Uh, how much... The... Same place looked like in... Uh, Half-Life 1. So, you know, um, whatever. Let's get out of here. And I hope there is nothing dangerous here, because we really don't have a lot of health. Nope, just a... Well, the head of something or another. I guess the head of some sort of cow. Or rather a bull. Because, you know, horns die. Yeah, don't think I can't kill you only because I'm not armed with any firearms. My crowbar will still do the job, buddy. Yep, exactly like that. Hey, yeah. Uh... Well, you managed to arm yourself too, but apparently not as well as I did. Well, that's life, my friend. Okay. So, just to try it. Can we enter that door? No. Nah. Nope. Not really. So, our only choice is to get up. And I actually don't mind. Oh, hey, health pack. And a severed leg. Well, we probably shouldn't think too much about how it got here. <laughs> Pretty. Don't you think? I mean, of course, the, the engine is kind of showing its age, but it still looks pretty nice, doesn't it? And turn those levers or valves. Okay, now we are down here, but oh, 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 right. Well, I was just being them. So yeah, talking about the graphics. While the graphic of the source engine, or at least you know, um, let's just say it how it is, the graphic of. Uh, Half-Life 2 isn't really anything special nowadays and is in fact pretty outdated. I think it still manages to look nice occasionally. I mean, it really all depends on the design, doesn't it? And the design in this game is pretty good. And it was pretty good in Half-Life. Oh, hey, security guard. Maybe we can save him. Or... Well, you know, at least he... Where did he go? Oh. Oh, well. And you're not going to stand up again. Okay. So I was talking about the graphics, yeah. It really all depends on the design, how good a game really looks. I mean, there is a lot you can do, even with, like, simple graphics. So that's not really the point. It's all a matter of design. Now I think that Valve with Half-Life 2 were 
one of the first developers to really nah we can't get in there to really uh, well no actually that's not true but they did pay a lot of attention to design and it really paid off that's what i'm going to say and they had a very interesting approach to uh, graphic design or rather art design they were yeah barnacle don't think i'm not seeing you here you know what you can eat that thing I hope you're going to enjoy it. Okay, not in there it burns. Hey there, how do you like a propane tank? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, yeah, what I was talking about and repeatedly got interrupted with, they used like nice scenery and uh, appealingly designed landscapes as sort of an encouragement for the player. So, after a really hard part of the game, they gave him a particularly nice vista to look at, to keep him playing. And I always thought this was a pretty nice design philosophy and we don't want to waste our ammunition really. A pretty nice design philosophy seeing how it's Huh. Okay, so we can't go there. Or can we? Seeing how... Well, again, it motivates the player to keep playing. And you know, that's that's all I have to say about that. We have to waste our... M Wait, no. 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 Let's pick up this thing. And give it to that barnacle. And then he will let us pass. You see, uh, that's... And we waste a bullet anyway, of course. <sighs> Alright, that was... That was just... Ah. Stupid. There is no other way to put it. Okay, nothing here. But there was another head crab. Yeah, don't think I don't see you here. And there's a suit power-up. Or, you know, not really a power-up, just a reload station. But that's fair enough. Doesn't open up, of course. And doesn't open up either, so where do we have to go? Huh. I couldn't say. So back up we go. Possibly, probably, maybe. I couldn't think of any other way to get somewhere. Huh. That or that door doesn't open up either. So chances are I'm missing something, right? Right. So as soon as I make any progress, hey, can we get that? No, of course. As soon as I make any progress, we will see each other again. Till then, see you. Okay, in here, in this room, there's a valve I just completely ignored. But we can turn it, well, either off or on, really. And then the fire starts to exist, kinda, and now that there's no fire anymore, we can get back in here, because there was an air vent blocked by fire. Yep, exactly here. And most likely we can get in there. Yeah. Okay. Yep, we can. So going into the other direction was just a... You know, like... There was no reason to do so. Just, you know, for a bit of 
additional ammunition and a bit of additional like um, health okay I can accept that but I didn't expect it to be that way seriously okay so the question is where to go now oh I'm just being bad at the game now or we can go here maybe there was a way to do this without hurting ourselves but if there was I didn't find it obviously so we are going to do it like that I mean we do have a little bit of health and now we have even more of it and not only that but also additional ammunition and this place looks like jumping puzzle and not only jumping puzzle, jumping puzzle with distorted vision. Why doesn't that make me happy? Oh, come on. I want to get out of here. Does that door open up? Well, of course not. I didn't expect it to open up, I mean, let's be honest here, but... You know, maybe it would have been possible. Oh, but that one does. And then we get back here again, but we couldn't open that door before. Okay, so that's a shortcut. Pretty good to know one. I hate distorted vision. Oh, yeah. I know exactly what we're supposed to do here, and I do not like it one bit. All oh, right, so a jumping puzzle it is. But first we have to get back up again. <laughs> and that's kind of a problem in its own right, really. I don't know, uh, how? Oh, so I get it. Wait. Wait. Yeah, so a jumping puzzle it is. That much is obvious. And not only a jumping puzzle, but also a time jumping puzzle. Could this get any better? Uh, I don't know. That wasn't that bad. Admittedly, I was just complaining for no reason at all. So now that we are here... Well, you know what? Now that we are here, I think it's a pretty good point to stop recording for today. So, you know, I'm your German snob, and I just fell down that place, and there's a zombie. And I'm saying goodbye!